Eleven players will compete over a series of episodes, with one player being eliminated each episode until there is a single champion. The final three competitors all have something to prove. They're all missing that little piece to their game that makes them a champion. And the winner of this game is going to be whoever can find that missing piece. Final trial, the plan is obviously to win it. I can taste the victory. It's just, it's right at my fingertips now. I honestly couldn't tell you what my chances of winning are like. So going into final three, you're told it's going to be a partner game. I'm told it's going to be a partner game. So my partner is my roommate and his name is Desert. He goes by Desert. I don't know which one he'll end up picking. And if you want to re-edit this so that I'm saying Desert as opposed to Desert, take the clip of me saying Desert and just splice it over every time I say Desert and you'll never know. I picked him because I actually watched all of the genius with desert last semester and into the summer. I'm pretty sure like I went through and I checked and the only guest game where you picked your guest was the was the poker game. A League of Legends MLG champion, a bouldering god, and a complete gangster walk into a bar. Table for one, says the waiter. <laughs> I know he's a very strong poker player. He's like playing part-time for a living now. How are we not gonna win? Oh my God, I'm so confident. <laughs> I forgot how energetic you were. I haven't talked to you in like two years. I was about to leave for a date. I get this message on Discord from Joey who I haven't talked to in like two years. Like, Phil, 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 this is an emergency. Please, please like contact me or whatever. I was like, oh my God, okay. Is everything all right? Is the wedding like going okay? Like, is there a problem somewhere? And he calls me and he's like, have you ever watched The Genius? I don't think he operates great under pressure, but I think he's just like such a strong pick for me. Desert. Why do they do that to you? You introduced yourself as some other name, and then they get they do this to you. Yeah, they, I've been doxxed. You have to say something cool about your guest, Alex. Well, I don't know what to call him now. Okay, I, bro, I'm calling him Kyle. Okay, so Kyle is like literally smarter than me. A shocker, shocker. I don't know, like he's he's weird. How do you how do you introduce a weird person? Use better words. He's quirky. Kyle's someone that is very quick on understanding things. I think that's what is a good partner. Drunkle and Nimitz. Why are you so silent here? I don't, we're, we're waiting for you guys to like pump it up. I don't even want to be here. Me neither, I don't want you to be here. Drunkle hasn't been a threat at all in these trials. He hasn't won a main match, he hasn't been given safety, he kind of just skated by. I don't know how I'm going to get around this. Oh my god. Yeah. And I brought my favorite person in the world, one of them at least, the great, the mighty, Phil! Apparently, of all the people that Joey has met, I was the one that he brought here. I really want to go to his wedding, and I need to win this to be invited, so... <laughs> Joey has won the final four trial. This is the fiance. She deals with all my bullshit. Every fucking week, I'm raging, I'm crying like a bitch. Let's- no, no, come on, two up five, down low. And pound it. Let's go, baby. Uh, anyways, my name's Desert. Uh, I'm Alex's old roommate, and I would really like to go to his wedding. So if you guys could just throw, let me win. <laughs> uh, I, I want to be invited to a Grunko's wedding. So uh, if you guys could just, you know, just not get invited to your weddings, uh, in, so that I can get invited to Grunko weddings. <laughs> I've also heard that whichever guest wins gets to go to Joey's wedding. It doesn't have to be fair. He will now announce the rules to the final trial. This trial will determine who advances to the final round of Gambit game and to Joey's wedding. The Light Spear totals are as follows. Joey has 17 Light Spears. 
Alex has 13 light spheres, and Quanko has 7 light spheres. I have the light sphere advantage, and it's kind of implied since it's going to be a light sphere victory that it's going to be a gambling game. Throughout the season, the best players will receive rewards in the form of light spheres. Light spheres are the in game currency that can be spent on advantages, traded with other players, and will play an important role in the semi final. I feel very confident going to the final three. Like, I have a really good lead. If it's a poker game, like, they're gonna get smoked. I will now introduce the final trial. The final trial is a 100 game. In the 100 game, players will work with their partner to win tiles and form an equation that equals 100. As a reward for reaching the semi-final, all players receive an additional 15 light spirits on top of what they already have. The trial will take place over 4 rounds, each round having 3 mini games. There will be a 5 minute break at the end of each set of rounds. In each round, one person will be the mini gamer tasked with doing the mini games, and one person will be the equation former tasked with building the equations. In round 1, the players will be the mini gamers and the guests the equation formers. In round 2, their roles will rotate. In round 3 and 4, players will choose who is the minigamer and who is the equation former. After a round begins, communication between the minigamer and the equation former is prohibited. The minigames are as follows. Alphabet soup. Letters of the alphabet are on the screen and some letters are missing. The missing letters form a word, so buzz in and say a valid word that uses each missing letter once to score. Match maze. Players must find a series of identical numbers in the grid that when read left and right forms a valid equation. Perfect recall. Players will be given an image to memorize and must respond to a random question about its contents. The minigamers players will compete to buzz in and get the correct answer within 20 seconds. In perfect recall in alphabet soup, the image will be deleted when someone buzzes in and reposted if they give an incorrect answer. The first minigamer to answer correctly will win one of the three available tiles. The players who did not win a minigame will bid on the right to select from the winning tiles. The player after the minigame winner will bid first. After a player bids and receives the second tile, the final player will automatically receive the third tile. The equation formers receive the tiles that guests acquired and must place them somewhere in their equation. They may place their tiles at the beginning and or in between the existing tiles. Each team can also hold up to one tile. The held tile does not need to be placed and can be used at any time. In a round you use a held tile, you may hold a new tile to receive. You do not need to use the held tile in your final equation. Rounds 1 to 5 are symbol tiles and 6 to 12 are number tiles. The player whose number is closest to 100 will win the final trial. If there is a tie, the winner will be the player with the most light spheres. The two remaining players will face each other in the final duel, with the player whose equation was the furthest from 100 designated the first duelist. Jesus Christ. Can we be real here? Like, you guys kind of fucked me. Alright, players will be given 10 minutes to strategize before playing the first set of mini games. Uh, what do you think so far? I might struggle with perfect recall. Okay. Uh, I don't have good uh, visual memory. Oh, the alphabet suit. I mean, alphabet suit, I'm literally just gonna be like A, B, C, D, F, G, oh, and then just like make like names. Oh no! <laughs> if it was more of a poker type game, then Joey would have been at an advantage here. Luckily, we didn't have to worry about that. The important thing is figuring out the order for these first five things. Yeah. Um, because you can just put in the numbers wherever later. Probably want like one multiplication, one division, and then the rest should be like addition or subtraction. My strategy going in was I didn't really have a set strategy, but I wanted to have pretty much every type of symbol so that way I could change my strategy based on what was going on. But I don't want a lot of multiplication, I don't think. I think we should hold the division so that we can do divided by 100. Any other way you get the 100, it basically kills your board. Unless yeah. you specifically try to get to zero and then add 100. I didn't have any frustrations with Kyle. It felt like a pretty good partnership and I didn't feel like I was having to like tell him how to do everything. Exynimus and I are good friends and part of the reason why I wanted to bring Exynimus was just because I thought it would be really funny. 
I, I'm not particularly confident in any of these. I, I, I mean, I think the, the one I have the best chance is probably Alphabet Soup and Math Maze. But, like, I, would, I wouldn't bet on me, you know? I know Eximus is a really smart guy. I have played games with him before. A lot of people, I think, do not give him the full credit he deserves for how good he is. And I need to get a glass of water. I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> Time is now up. Everyone should now be done. We wanted to kind of just get one of each. One plus, one division, one multiply. I wanted to have pretty much every type of equation. Yeah, when it comes to these equation games, frankly, I'm really not good at it. We didn't think about the other players at all, or what their plans were, because quite honestly, we didn't care. And I don't think Exodus gets the best ideas for strategy either. This might end up being a complete blowout. We will now begin the first set of mini games in a hundred game. Alex, Joey, and Grunkle will play this set of mini games, while their partners Exodus, Phil, and Desert will order them. We will now begin round one. How many dollar signs were in the image? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't mess this one up, Joey. Come on. He doesn't know. 15? What? That is incorrect. The next player will be given a different question. <laughs> Let's right. go. I'm ready for this one. How many times is the word bar written in yellow in the image? <laughs> Are you de what? Okay. <laughs> Two at the top, three in there, what, six times? Six is correct. <laughs> Grunkle will now take a symbol of his choice. I'll take the division symbol, please. Joey and Alex will now bid on the remaining two. I'll bid two on the minus. I'll let him have the bid, I guess. I don't really care in the first round. Kyle, Nimis, and Phil, please choose where to put the pieces you received. I will be holding my multiplication. I will be holding my subtraction. I will be placing it all the way to the left. And to be clear, there was nowhere else to the division other than on the left or hold. You think of it as an unlimited Scrabble like row. If there's no wall on the left that you're like stuck on, you can just like place things like around it and like in between and whatever. We will now move on to mini game two. Ten divided by two times four minus two times seven. Oh, did I do that wrong? How much longer do they have? Grunkle. Ten plus two divided by three plus two times four divided by two minus five times seven equals 49. Yeah, that's right. That is correct. I will take the divide. I'll bid two. I'll bid three. Okay, you can have it. Okay, I'll take the plus. You will now move on to the set's final minigame, Alphabet Soup.
Grunkle. I believe the word is Mark, M-A-R-K. That is correct. Grunkle, you have the right to choose the first tile. God bless America. We will take the plus, please. I pass. I'll bid one then. Take division. That means Joey will take the minus and Matt concludes the first three rounds. I stomped that. Three times I played it fucking won it decisively. Nobody else was even close to me. Oh, I had all the letters. I had, I had oh, LA. Hammer? Man. Hammer? Ram? No, Ram has an Ram does not have an H, you know. Well there's no H missing. H is in there. No, I know <laughs> I'm just drawing dead on these mini games. You guys have fun. I'm not playing any one <laughs> Mini game set one is now complete. There will now be five minutes of planning before mini game set two begins. So you got last pick twice? Yeah. Our hand's so good, though. I'm a genius. I don't know if you're a genius or if these guys are dumb. I'm gonna take a bathroom break. Okay. So Grunkle round, round one pick division? Why? I don't think anyone really questions who's the best at the trials, considering my prowess. And maybe it's kind of obvious that I'm better at that aspect than everyone else. Okay, yeah. I'll go in there and try to win at least one mini game. It would be crazy if we lost all 12 and still won the challenge. You don't need to win all 12, though, is the thing. Yeah, we just need to win the clutch ones. I mean, we obviously don't want Grunkle to have his optimal strategy, so we have to... But his optimal strategy isn't very good. I don't understand it. He's got two divisions. I don't know what he's thinking. I will play Professor Layton. Because, because uh, who, who needs to focus on on the trial when I can just I can just play <laughs> play on my 3ds? Hey Grunkle, I was about to play Professor Layton. Go know, for it. <laughs> Time is up. Mini game set two will now begin. Which of the hands contains a seven? Top left, top right, bottom left, or bottom right? Bo bottom right. That's correct. What will you take? I will take divide. Extimus takes a third divide. Desert bids one for the minus, and Phil takes the plus. Uh, 9 plus 3 times 6 divided by 3 equals 24. You have to start at the top left. I have to start at the top left? Okay, can I redo my submission? 1 times 1 times 9 plus uh, 3 times pain. All right, whatever. Someone buzz in quick! 1 times 9 times 9 plus 3 um, divided by... What? All you have to do is read out numbers. <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. Like, what just happened? I can spell it out for you. <laughs> I'm such a humor. <laughs> wait, wait. Am I allowed to just, like, just mess with Phil? Like, just prevent him from, like, can concentrating? By con yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> you may not distract Phil with talking while the game is going on. times one times nine uh, plus three times six divided by three. Finish the equation, dude. Equals 24. There you go! That's our man, Phil! Let's go! <laughs> Phil is correct. What will you choose as your final symbol? I will take the addition. I'll bid one. Bid bid two. I'll bid three. Hey, uh, wait, wait, I, I, ooh, 
I need multiplication. I'll do six. Seven. Oh, it's the uni multiplication too. Well, I think you're lying. Uh, because you no, 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 no. negative stuff. No, I'm no, going for the eight. minus, but I just don't believe it. Oh, you're going for the minus? Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, eight. <laughs> All right, I won't fit. I'll take the multiplication because I, I, I will, I will not do d desert dirty like that. The second mini game in Beset is now complete. X did spend a bunch of light spheres on a bid earlier. I don't regret it at all. Phil? Uh, fire? That is correct. Phil, you have the right to choose the first tile. Uh, I would like to choose one. Phil takes the one. Exonymous bids two for the 25. And Kyle takes the seven. This concludes set two of the mini games. Players will now have five minutes to plan with their partner. I have no idea what Kronka's strategy is. I mean, if you guys can just keep getting first in all the challenges for most of them, it's not going to really matter. Yeah. I think Grunkle's strategy is obvious, obvious, obvious. Apparently, like, Phil just caught on to what strat we're doing. When it comes to these equation games, frankly, I'm really not good at it. So what I, ha I, what I did is I just tried to simplify it. I tried to simplify it to make it the fight me for a hundred games. <laughs> If you just get a large enough number, divide it by no. some comically massive number, and then add a hundred, that's one hundred. Mm. I wanted to have the most concrete, defined plan as possible go to it, which is literally take every number that isn't a hundred, put it between the divides, then take the hundred, put it at the end. Like, you don't mess that up. Like, nobody messes that up. So yeah, plan now is just commit, get that one hundo, walk out, yeah. champions. Yeah, Grunkle Perfect. strategy divide, 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 and then plus 100 or times 100. Grunkle strategy is unbeatable if he gets the 100, so we need to get the 100. Nothing we do matters as long as we can win that mini game of math mix. All players must decide which partner will be doing the next three mini games in the set. They will be allowed to change partners for the final three mini games. Do you want to do the games, or do you think I should do it? I don't know, man. I feel like I could do it again. Do you want to try going into the mini games again and seeing how you do? Uh, it, it's it's really just like what do you feel most comfortable with? Which game? I I, I do think no one's contesting you for math maze. Like Phil took forever. Phil, come help me! Save me, Phil. Mini game set three will now begin with Grunkle, Phil, and Desert. Phil, your question will be four and what other number are next to zero on the wheel? Uh, seven. Incorrect. The correct answer was five. Grunkle, what number range is the blue chip on? Seven to twelve. That is correct. Pick a number. Okay. I'll take the eighty. Desert bids one for the eight, and Phil takes the four. It's so weird for like such a big game to end up coming down to just like the one math maze problem. I, I, I do think no one's contesting you for math maze. Do you want to try going into the mini games again and seeing how you do? Phil, come help me, save me Phil. Desert. Um, one minus two plus five minus nine plus seven plus ten 
plus 5 minus 6 equals 1. That is incorrect. Uh, 1 minus 5 uh, plus 2 uh, plus 6 plus 5 minus 6 equals 1. That is also incorrect. I wish the 100 was on this one, dude. Come on. I will go 1 minus 5 minus 2 minus 9 divided by 3 plus 8 minus 6 minus 5 plus 10 equals 1. We will now reveal the correct solution. I know that Gronkle is going to get really nervous going into that final um, one where he has to get the 100. Putting pressure on myself is only going to make me underperform, so I just need to make sure that I stay safe. Desert. World. That is correct. Desert, you get to choose the first tile. Hey, Gronkle. Mm. Do you really think you're going to get that 100? Like you're 100% positive? The third set of mini games is complete. Players will decide whether to swap partners for the final three rounds. You definitely want to like put your 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 fate in your own hands, right? How confident are you with it, though? Even though you've only gotten to play it once. I I I don't know if I'm confident per se. I, honestly, I do. Uh, I would like you to do it because I don't want to be responsible for your losses, you know? I would feel less bad about it if you were responsible for it, though. <laughs> <laughs> do, you want, do you want to, do you want to just, for, like, not take responsibility and just let me do it? God, I don't know. <laughs> Man. Because I'm gonna be unbelievably pissed at myself if I screw it up myself, but also... I bet you'd be unbelievably pissed at me if I screwed it up for you. No, I wouldn't be able to blame you because I probably also definitely could have screwed it up. Oh, fucking hell. I don't... <laughs> uh, it, it, your, your call. I don't, I don't want to, like, force you to go one way or the other. The final set of minigames will now begin. Bill will be playing for Joey. Kyle will be playing for Alex. And for Team Grunkle. I just need to de-stress and I need to stay calm. I do not get too worked up on this. I mean, even if I do go to the duel, there's still an okay chance of me winning it, but yeah. I obviously would still rather break my curse, you know? Grunkle will be playing. We will start with Perfect Recall. What is the total value of all the blue chips present? The sum of all the values of the blue chips. 20. Grunkle. How many red chips are present? Nine. That is correct. Grunkle, what would you like to pick? Grunkle takes 24. Alex bids four on the five and Joey takes the six. Let me know when you guys are ready for the math maze round. I am ready. So I'm counting on you for this. I can outbid them. So you just need to win and you don't need to take the 100. I'm ready. You will view the final round of math maze.
Good game. Yes! Let's go! Uh! Woo! Alex is consistently performing the entire game. I wanted to be able to show that I can pull forth a performance that I'm proud of. And originally, that performance mainly included getting at least one trial. Shouldn't really be here. Like, Joey stands fair chance. Alex is consistently performing the entire game. We will now begin the final round. Yes, sir. Sentry. That is correct. Yes. Yes. You have first choice. I choose two. Grunkle and Phil, you may now bid. Phil. I'll bid two. Grunkle. Grunkle, you may now bid. Grunkle. Grunkle, please bid. Players have been given time to arrange their equations. You will now announce the final result. The winner of the trial will advance to the final round of Gambit Game. Gronkles knows that he wasn't very good at the trials and that's something that he, I think, really wanted to prove. With a score of 12, Grunkle and Extimus are in third. Every time he would be close, he would be thwarted by something. And it would usually be someone else's better gameplay that thwarted him. The trial winner with a score of 100 points is... Alex. Like at the final round, I straight up told Joey and Nimitz, I'm like, I'm gonna get a 100 and there's nothing you guys can do to stop it. 15 times seven is 105. Yeah. So then minus eight, well, it's gonna be 82 divided by 100 is like 0.1. Mm. Or point, minus, minus nine, point eight two, yeah. And then yeah. minus nine, nine is almost nine. ten, and then the plus five puts me at a hundred and ten minus nearly ten. Yeah, but I could get a five or a six, and I'd be fine. And then after I got the five or six, I would have one hundred and like a very small number. I, I think a lot of it is having division is very important to be yeah. able to maneuver your things, and you couldn't do that. Yeah. I agree. I didn't. I, I was kind of stupid. Yeah. I, I. When I was talking to Kyle, I was like, I want to have one division and use it, and then hold it, obviously. So that was our strategy yeah. the whole time. Yeah, that's smart. I should have gone. I should have gone for the division. Yeah, it must be a it must be just a nice life to be Alex. <laughs> Joke. Oh my God! Yes, games tilt me out of my fucking mind. This means Grunkle's first duelist and Joey will be going to the duel. Let's go! Six duel! There he is. Boom. The boy who lived come to die. Mm, nah, I don't think so. What do you think about me sending you home twice in one season, Grunkle? Grunkle? I put all their names in randomizer, and then if, if it came up as Alex or Shuba as like the name, then I would have just re-rolled it, pretty much. I'm really sorry, dude, but uh, Grunkle. No fucking way. It's you. Joey picks Grunkle as first duelist. Grunkle is the first player eliminated from the Gambit game. I'm feeling pretty good right now, so I hope it's a game that's good for you. I hope it's not poker. You will now announce the final duel. Welcome to the seventh duel of the Gambit game. The fourth duel is Grunkle, as decided to face off against Joey. The loser will be eliminated from the Gambit game. The final duel will be Tactical Snakes, a high stakes psychological game. I'm gonna destroy you. <laughs> In Tactical Snakes, players will play on a 20 space Snakes and Ladders board. Each player will control three tokens on the board. The second duelist will decide who goes first. On the player's turn, both duelists will have one minute to decide if they submit 0, 1, or 2. If the sums of the numbers is 1, then the player must move one of the tokens backwards one space. If the sum of the numbers is 2, the player must move one of their tokens two spaces. If the sum of the numbers is 3, the player must move one of their tokens 3 spaces. If the sum of the numbers is 0 or 4, players store their roll and go again. 
If plus sum is zero, then the five is stored and you roll again. The five can be used at any time before play passes on to the other player. If the sum is four, then a four is stored and you roll again. The four can be used at any time before play passes on to the other player. If a player moves a token onto a space when an enemy token is present, that token is captured, sent back to the start, and the player takes another turn. If a player moves a token onto a space where they already have a token, then a token must either be captured or double up. Double up tokens move together but will be captured together. Tokens may also triple up with one another. Tokens on a starting space may not be captured or doubled. If a token ends its turn on the bottom of a ladder, it moves upwards to the space indicated. If a snake ends its turn at the top of a snake, it moves downwards to the space indicated. The game ends when two out of three of the player's tokens land on or pass the finished space. That player wins the game and advances to the finals. If four rolls elapse, the game ends when play passes on to the other player. The player who has the token closest to the finish line wins the match and advances to the finals. What do you think about me sending you home twice in one season, Crunkle? Mm, I think it'd be funny if it happens. It's not like I'm going to go down without a fight, though. Yeah, but maybe no, not even okay. go down at all. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. I knew Joey was a very tactical person, and obviously his name is Mafia Joey, so I would assume he had some affiliation with playing Mafia, the psych game, and he also is always on Poker Stars, and it certainly was something that I feel like was in Joey's wheelhouse. So I just need to, I just need to stay calm, make good moves. 40 rolls. 40 rolls between me and the finale. That's all. That's how I see it. The final duel has now begun, and Joey will go first. So I knew my very first move was going to be a zero. Um, I knew I was going to throw a zero because I felt like he was never going to throw a two at the start. And I felt like, so if he hits a, if he throws a one, that's fine. If he throws a zero, that's also fine, right? Grunkle has put in a one. Joey has put in a zero. This means Joey moves backwards one space. This is going to be mind games game, right? You're just like, he thinks that I think that he thinks that I think that he thinks, you know? So I felt like he was pretty likely to throw a zero because if I throw a zero, then he obviously gets, you know, double rolls. And if I throw a one, then he captures me and goes again. So I felt pretty comfortable throwing a two. Grunkle rolled a zero. Joey rolled a two. So Grunkle moves two spaces. So I threw a two and then he landed on two. And then like, I'm basically crushing right there, right? So here, obviously I'm throwing a zero because every single outcome is good, I believe. If he throws a zero, I get to roll again. If he throws a two, I capture. If he throws a one, then I move to 12. Grunkle rolled a two. Joey rolled a zero. Joey gets to choose. I will capture Grunkles. Of course. Because there was a capture, Joey rolls again. I just throw a zero again, pretty much, because I throw a zero. If he throws a zero, I get to go again. If he throws a one, I get to 12. And he throws a two, then I actually just capture mine on two again, and I send it back because it forces him to make a bad roll, right? So I can capture mine and then send it back. And then we just do the same thing. And if, if we do this infinite, then I just win the game, right? Grunkle rolled a one. Joey rolled a zero. Mm -hmm. Joey, you may move a piece backwards one. I'll, I'll move my negative one to negative two. Oh man, bad start for you, Grunkle. Yeah, could be better. But even if things aren't looking your way, all three of your pieces are in the shop and your opponent's like halfway across the board with one of theirs, Stay calm. Don't lose it. Stay calm. That's what lost my duel versus Kathy. I went too many layers deep. I have a roll where all three of my options are good. If I put out a two, Joey has three options. It's Joey puts out a zero, I land on his piece. Joey puts out a one, I go to space six. Joey puts out a two. I roll a four, right? Grunkle rolled a two. Joey also rolled a two. So Grunkle, you store a four and we'll be rolling again. Grunkle rolled a two. Joey rolled a one. So Grunkle will be moving three spaces. I would like to move a token from start three spaces forwards. 
and then I would like to move these same token four more spaces forward. Got me good uh, in the middle game when like I had the big lead and then I let him get a piece all the way to 10. <laughs> that was unlucky, but I still had like a really good position. Uncle rolled a one, Joey rolled a two. So Joey will be moving a token three spaces. Seconds. Okay, I will move from the 12 to the 15. Uncle rolled zero. Joey rolled a one. Grunkle moves backwards one space. I'd like to move my 10 one space backwards with a nine. Grunkle rolled a one. Joey rolled a two. Joey, you may move three spaces. I'll move to the three. I, like, I feel good. Like, this is definitely... I'm happier with this game than a, than a lot of other ones. It'd be just crushing to lose here. It certainly was something that I feel like was in Joey's wheelhouse. But to me, that's not really super important because especially if your opponent has a bunch of pieces in front of you, that's prime time for you to potentially just start eating them up. Uncle rolled a one. Joey also rolled a one. Grunkle, you may move two spaces. I'll move a piece from the start to Joey's, please, at two. Okay, Grunkle moves from the start to capture Joey's piece on the two. Grunkle rolled a zero. Joey rolled a one. Grunkle, you must move one of your pieces backwards one space. I'll move space, fit, uh, space 16 backwards one space to space 15, please. Grunkle moves backwards one space and captures Joey's piece on the 15. I just hate it. It's just like so bad. It's like, it's it's not like innovative or like something that I shouldn't have been able to see. And like, it's just so obvious. Grunkle rolls a two. Joey also rolls a two. Grunkle has stored a four. Grunkle has rolled a two. Joey has rolled a one. Grunkle, you may move one piece three spaces and also use your four. I'll move a piece from the start onto space three, please. Joey's piece is captured on the six and you may take another turn. Grunkle rolls a two. Joey rolls a one. Grunkle, you may move a piece three spaces and moves your banked four. I'll move space six to space nine with the three. Okay, so banked four to move it to the end. No, oh, that's not good. I completely forgot that you just move your piece backwards, like to capture and shit like that. I don't write anything off just yet. Anything is still possible. You always have to play home. You can't just say, okay, this is a win, let's quit. There's plenty of poker sessions that I play where I'm, you know, down piles of money, but all you can do is play the next hand as well as you can. You know, having, you know, 5% chance to win is still a 5% chance to win. Uncle rolled a zero. Joey rolled a one. Joey will move one token backwards one space. Uncle rolls a zero. Joey rolls a one. Uh, what piece would you like to move backwards one space? The finish one. Wow, well, weird move. Ooh, good idea. <laughs> I'll move my piece on space two back. Uncle rolls a two. Joey also rolls a two. Nine. Joey will store a four and roll again. Uncle rolls a one. Joey also rolls a one. Okay, I'll move one from negative one to one. Joey has captured Grunkle's piece and will be going again. This is a move I didn't see, where you could go be on negative one to zero to one, land on my piece. I legitimately didn't see it. I had a Joey moment. But then I just throw out a one so that his turn will sputter out. Uncle 
rolls a one, Joey rolls a zero, Joey will move a piece backwards one. To negative one. Oh yeah, and I have a four, so I'm gonna go to the six. Sorry, did I, did I say to the six? Oh, sorry. To the five, to the five, to the five. Grunkle rolled a zero, Joey rolled a two. Grunkle, you will move a piece to space. I would like to move 50 to 17, please. Grunkle rolls a one. Joey rolls a zero. Joey will move one space backward. So negative two to the like I am now in a world where it basically just comes down to like rock, paper, scissors. If I throw out two and Joey doesn't throw out zero, I win. If I throw out zero and Joey throws out zero, I win. I want to win so. I mean, I know I want to win more than Grunkle. There's not even a doubt about that. So I just, need to, I just need to stay calm, make good moves. This is the Joey game. We're here to fucking win. That's it. That's the only. That's the. That's the only acceptable outcome. Grunkle rolls a zero, and Joey rolls a zero. I don't know if it hurts more to lose at final three or to go out first. Obviously, people have different opinions on this, but like. It, it really stung, and it, honestly, it, it'll, it'll probably sting for like a long time. I'm one of those kinds of people. You know? I am now recording. Can you hear me? My name is Joey. I'm 28 years old from Montreal, Canada. This should just be crushing. No, no one's going to be able to stop me. I think Joey was a lot of fun to work with, and he was definitely like a, a, a interesting character to deal with in the, in the Gambit game. Like, trust me, we have an unbeatable strat. I guarantee you'll be a winner. Like, you can guarantee sure. unbeatable. Okay, shark. Shark, so like, shark's shark. Yeah, shark. You can shark. use shark in a context. Yeah. I always, okay, shark. I was holding one thing for, for the for the finale. I wasn't really saying about what kind of games I've played online. I came from the mafia community, and I'm considered the greatest of all time. <laughs> but I was keeping that all to myself just because, you know, uh, lying is, a, is one of my strong suits. So, yeah, you know, yourself, you know, with the whole like having the word mafia in your Discord. Yeah, you know, well, I mean, that was like I'm like Joey was confident in everything that he did, and that was the part about him that unnerved me the most. It's almost seemed like even if he didn't understand what was going on, he was somehow still never out of his element, and that is something that I can only respect and admire. This is impossible. This no, is impossible, no, and I'll tell you why. No. Yeah, no, no, I'm I'm 100 sure this is impossible. Did yeah. Alex know I'm on his team? Yeah. Like, I don't even know what team Alex is on. So He's I'm on, gonna, we I'm don't know either. either. That's I'm what we're trying to figure out. Did I'm not going to answer that. Dude, I, how, why, why am I so stupid today? I'm treating this like there's a million dollars for first. And anything other than a win is going to be an embarrassment. And that's and that's the truth. But I'm proud that like that's the person that I am. That I'm willing to like put it all on the line and not want to be one of those people that be like, oh, I didn't try my hardest, you know? Every single, every single week, I brought it. Every single week, I tried my hardest, you know? But... Sometimes uh, that's not enough to get it done. I'd like to immediately use the bank five to move 17 past the end. Grunkle has crossed the finish line with two tokens and wins the duel. This means Joey is the last person eliminated from the Gambit game. I've been watching like reality games since before some of these, actually both of you were born, you know? I would, uh, <laughs> me and my sister would like, we beg our mom to let us stay up to nine just to watch you know survivor so like considering you know where my life's going i don't really have time to go on one of these shows and all it, re it really was a dream i hope you either loved me or hated me either of those are totally fine with me yeah sometimes it takes times like this to know you're in the right place Drifting by